Yeah, arguably I'm in one of the best markets I would say in the country yeah. for this. And if anybody is in San Diego and they've never gotten a chance, if they own a board and they've never gotten a chance to ride on a beach at low tide, it is next level fun. I've got Jesse Curry with me. Jesse Curry, he uh, lives here in San Diego, beautiful San Diego. Let's give you a little view here. We're here in Mission Bay and those are two one wheel pluses. And we have those out because Jesse actually rents the one wheel pluses. So Jesse, tell us a little bit about what you do. I bought this one of these boards for myself, like everybody out there. You guys all probably had your mind blown by the experience. So I just figured, um, one, I get stopped a lot on these boards, so I need to bring the experience to as many people as I can. Since a lot of people are hesitant to spend the money uh, on the board without trying it out, this was a great opportunity to give them that initial experience and to also uh, give them the experience in a, a very um, safe way, uh, as opposed to people just jumping on the boards knowing nothing, and usually that's where the injuries take place. So I give a pretty robust lesson. I've gotten very good at it at this point. I've given probably close to maybe 600 lessons at this point. So I've okay. had quite a few rentals. Wow. Um, so yeah, 600 lessons, and I've, I've, I've got that down to a science. Um, so start people on the grass, get them comfortable, and then I let them spread, spread their wings and fly. So sure. it's, a, it's a fun business. Um, I do it full time. 600 lessons, that's that's pretty impressive. I, I, I feel like I've taught a lot of people, uh, but 600 is pretty crazy. Do you feel like you have a sense of who's going to nosedive and who's going to be a responsible rider? Yeah, right out of the gate. I, I don't make any assessments until I actually see them on the board for the first time. But after I give them that initial breakdown, I, I pretty much know instantly um, the guys who are gonna get overconfident or just be cocky and the people that are actually gonna remain within their comfort zone. Um, so yeah, the guys who I can I can tell, I give them that hard warning. I'm like, it's gonna be easy to get confident quickly on this board, just don't. You know what I yeah. mean? Like, it's gonna yeah. hurt. <laughs> is there a type of person that you feel like is that cocky or overconfident rider? What do they have in common? Yeah, it's, always, oh, it's almost always the people that have the background in board sports. Yeah. Those are the guys that come into it, the snowboarders, the surfers, which a lot of us are, and I understand that. Sure. I fully admit that I was a little overconfident when I first got into this thing, and I had to take two or three falls before I really respected the board. Yeah. Um, it seems to be an inevitability of owning these boards. It's not if you go down, it's when, and a lot of people have to take that fall uh, before they can respect the board. At that sure. Point, so. When you're going through the teaching process and, and getting someone set up with one of these boards, um, I mean, what do you do to, to protect yourself from a, a legal a liability standpoint? Because sure. injury is uh, a big part of riding a one wheel. It is, yeah. So that was the biggest barrier to entry for this um, by far. Uh, I had to spend a good six months to a year searching for an insurer who would insure a business like this, okay. um, which is definitely considered high risk, as well as a really robust liability waiver, um, which the insurance company does provide to me. And it is pricey uh, to find insurance um, for a business like this, but I was able to get creative and, and find it. Okay. Yeah. How do you get, uh, get the word out about your business and your well, what you have to offer here? So because I have a, a background in um, marketing, that's gonna give me a big leg up. So I do some Facebook advertising, I do some Google AdWords, um, and I have a pretty robust online presence, and I'm, okay. I'm working on that all the time. So um, I'm on TripAdvisor, I'm on Yelp, okay. I am on Instagram, I'm building that following up. Yeah. So it's just a pretty good online presence. And then I'll also do some in-person marketing too. So I'll go downtown to Embarcadero and I might just cruise this thing around in a really touristy area. And um, obviously you're gonna get a lot of looks at that point. I'll hand out brochures. Um, okay. So, you know, I'll hustle that end of things yeah. occasionally, but it's my my SEO and my online efforts yeah. is where I would say 90% of my business is coming from. What's been the, uh, some unexpected hurdles that you've encountered with your business? Uh, yeah, just finding enough consistent business um, to keep running was uh, has been a bit of a challenge, but now things are, are picking up. Everyone who rides these boards love it. Yeah. I love teaching people and, and bringing more people into the sport. Um, 
but you know that's probably been a, a, a good challenge for me like any business right for it's, sure. you can have the best product in the world and the best service in the world if you don't know how to market yourself you're you're never going to be found yeah your business will fail <laughs> so for sure yeah. with your business it seems like you, you talked about this trickle how has the pint just the public knowledge of the one will um, how has that changed over time and how has that affected your business yeah so with the um, announcement of the pint I would say I've been getting a good number of calls about it I don't have any pints to rent right now I did get a chance to demo the pint up in Del Mar a few weeks back I really uh, loved it actually um, and so I, I probably will end up picking a few of those up um, right now my entire fleet is is plus models uh, okay. eventually I would like to upgrade to XRs okay. um, but half the people that come to me wanting to buy XRs, obviously they can understand the sport and get a feel for it without actually need, you know, needing yeah. to ride an XR. Um, and then they just go out and, and buy it themselves. So uh, eventually I'll upgrade to XRs and I'll probably have a few, a few pints in the fleet. But as far as rentals go, pints don't really make sense for rentals. XRs would make the most sense okay. with the range. What? Because of the range? Because of the range. So yeah. do your customers feel like they catch on quickly enough that they, they want that extra range? Most of them have said that to me. I would okay. say at least 70% of my renters have said, this thing is awesome, but it was a little annoying having to stop by and charge the thing up, Okay. which I get it. Yeah. Um, so that concept of being able to ride all day and never have having that range anxiety is, yeah. is huge for people. Okay. So I think it would be beneficial for rentals and then people in, in general. Now for the pint, it's like when I think about the pint using it around town, range is probably not as big of a deal. Yeah. Um, but for people who are trying to explore San Diego, um, it, 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 it becomes a much bigger deal. Yeah. I feel like the simple stop on the pint would be amazing for new riders uh, that you have, but then it's, yeah, the range is basically the killer. Yeah. It makes it tough. Probably a full fleet of XRs, and then I'll have a pint or two for people who are really looking to pull the trigger on one to at least be out. able to try it out okay. um, and get a feel for it. But San Diego is just designed for the XR. There's so many rideable bike paths. There's so many rideable um, streets around here. It's just like an incredible place to explore. And so, yeah, arguably I'm in one of the best markets, I would say, in the country yeah. for this. You cover, I'm sure, uh, I mean, La we were just in La Jolla, La Jolla, all the way downtown, go as far north as North County, Oceanside, Carlsbad, um, Del Mar, all amazing places to ride. And if anybody is in San Diego and they've never gotten a chance, if they own a board and they've never gotten a chance to ride on a beach at low tide, it is next level fun. Oh, so, yeah. Um, oh, yeah. I came to this appointment a little bit early, and Jesse doesn't know this, but uh, my son and I parked, and we looked up from where we were parked, and we saw him teaching Joe, and uh, you know, I could tell yeah, he was just passionate, um, taking the time to go through all the steps on how to teach. Um, my son then said, you know, this feels kind of like we're stalking, and so we had to pull the car, move around, and wait for the lesson to finish. Oh, did you? Would you mind getting a picture with him? He was... Oh yeah, let's do it. Oh, I have no, I'm sorry, I have no idea who you are. <laughs> no You're problem. just an ordinary guy to me. <laughs> and so I'm, I'm an ordinary, ordinary, ordinary guy to most. With your son. So, you know. <laughs> yeah, let's get let's get one for the the YouTube channel. You mind if you're on YouTube? Oh, yeah, sure. All right, so it's Joe. Nice yep. All sure. right, Joe. I'm excited for the the future of this sport and. Uh, where it could go. Two days later. We just finished up our two day uh, rental. Uh, great experience, super easy. I love how if you're a beginner and you wanna get into this sport, you wanna try to see if this is uh, the one wheels for you. Look up Jesse Curry if you're in the San Diego area. They have, he'll give you a, a lesson, he'll get you going right off the bat and then uh, very affordable, and super easy to work with. Yeah, thank you so yeah, much. Yeah, thanks, man. Jimmy. Really appreciate it. Yeah, it was an absolute pleasure uh, meeting you, and I'm yeah. glad this uh, ended up working out. So, yeah, if anybody uh, is in town and they want to check it out, again, sd1wheel.com, Instagram at sd1wheel, and um, we'll get you guys all set up, whether you've never tried the board before or whether you have a board and you just want to rent one while you're out here, let me know, and uh, I'll get you set up.